How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to set up your photo stream on your Apple TV so you'll be able to see all your photo stream pictures on your Apple TV. And you can also uh, make them like, um, what do you call it, your uh, screensaver and do all kind of cool stuff. So I'm going to show you right now. Let's scroll down all the way to photo stream. Now, I'm assuming you've already set up your photo stream on your um, iPhone or iPad. So make sure you have that set up first. Um, if not, then you will have nothing to show here. So, um, Also, your uh, Apple TV uh, needs to be updated. So make sure you're seeing the same interface I'm seeing or better. If not, then you may not have an icon that says photo stream. So let's click on photo stream and I'm going to pick a different account here and I'm going to type in um, the, you're going to type in your email that's associated with your uh, iCloud and also photo stream and then you're going to hit submit and it's going to ask for your password so put in your password hit submit and the reason I was able to type so fast is because I'm using the uh, iPhone app uh, remote that lets you control your Apple TV and there's a video on my channel on that too sorry it's a little blurry right now it's basically asking do you want to use photo stream as your screensaver and I'm going to go ahead and hit yes okay And so now it's accessing my photo stream here. And there it is, it's starting to load my photos. Now it's only loaded a couple so far. It takes a little bit of time, um, but it will pull up all your photos. And um, then you can actually do a slideshow you can also go to your settings. Let's see what we can do in settings here. This is my first time kind of looking at it, so I'm kind of learning with you. You can change the slideshow that you do, and that's pretty cool. So we can do a photo wall, which is kind of cool. We can do reflections. So this is basically how it's going to show up, um, giving you to a slideshow. This is cool. If you have people over and you want to do a little slideshow for them, you can show them all the photos you have in your photo stream. Um, we can do flip up. That one's kind of boring. Or my favorite here, which is origami. And it'll do a little like cool fold. Bam. Just like that. Or we can do uh, shifting tiles. I think that's a new one too. Let's see. Shifting tiles. Yeah, that's not really that new. And you can also add music to it. So when you can set the photos to shuffle so it'll randomly select the next picture. And I think I'll do that. Turn on shuffle. And then you can also uh, set some music. Um, let's see. Let's go to default music. And I don't have any of my library set up right now. So we we'll, won't worry about that. But um, anywho... Now that we have some photos that are synced, I'm going to have a, I have like a, I don't know how many photos I have in my photo sheet. There we go. A lot more starting to load up here. I really take pictures of just all kind of random stuff every day. So, um, that's kind of why you just kind of see album covers and old TVs and all kind of crap. But let's see what the slideshow looks like here. Just so we have an idea. So bam, that's me working on my new business cards that I have not finalized yet. Um, and so basically this is the photo stream here and it'll take your photos and throws them into a nice little uh, photo slideshow and uh, I'm definitely going to have to go in and uh, um, add the photos that are in there. This was my game and scramble with friends when I hit over a thousand I was pretty excited about. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back here for now. And as you can see, more photos have loaded. I'm always putting, this is like a random lady I saw. And I was like, she needs to put some clothes on. Kind of funny right there. This is pretty cool. This picture right here, 
this picture I actually loaded from my computer. There's a, a setting when you download uh, the it's called the iCloud control panel to your PC uh, or your Mac. You can actually move photos from your computer onto your iCloud. So this is a really cool feature. I'll have a video that shows you how to do that. But uh, I uploaded it like a couple, maybe like 30 minutes ago. And it, it takes a little bit of time to get it on there. But it's a cool way to get photos onto your iPad a lot faster without having to use the, the little uh, camera adapter or using the, the uh, iTunes. Excuse me. So that was just kind of excited about that. So um, that's it in a nutshell. That's photo stream. And um, hope that was helpful. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Also, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and have a good one.